in today's youtube video i'm going to be showing you how to crochet this beautiful um lace stitch it is very very easy to make and it is of course perfect for summer crochet clothing items you can even use it as an edging for your crochet projects just to make it look different from what everyone else is doing again this is a very easy stitch it is reversible it is the same thing on the front side and on the right side um yeah even if you're a beginner you're going to be able to work with this stitch because it is so so easy if this is your first time here my name is kalthar i'm nigeria's crochet queen and i share helpful crochet resources on my youtube channel if you're a lover of crochet then click the subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on any one of my videos now let us begin this tutorial To begin this stitch, we are going to chain 36 because we need a multiple of 10 plus 6. I have my 26 chains done and um, now I'm going to begin with row 1. To begin with row 1, do a single crochet in the 8th chain from the hook. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In this 8th chain, we do a single crochet. Then chain 5 skip four chains and do a single crochet in the next one chain five again skip four chains and do a single crochet in the next one this is all we're going to be doing in row one chain five one two three four five skip four chains and do a single crochet in the next one now when you come to the end of the row you're going to have three chains left so chain two skip two chains and do a double crochet in the very last chain and with this we have come to the end of our row one we begin row two by chaining four one two three four turn now in this chain to space right here we are going to work three double crochets then chain two single crochet in this chain five space chain two in the next chain five space which is this one we're going to work three double crochets chain two three double crochets all in that same chain five space so we have this now now chain two single crochet in the next chain five space chain two then in this um last space we are going to work three double crochets chain one in this last space here three double crochets chain one then work a double crochet in the on top of the third chain there and we have come to the end of row two to begin row three chain one and turn work a single crochet in this first double crochet then chain three now we're going to work a double crochet on top of each of these double crochets. So one double crochet on top of each of those three double crochets. And we work, we skip all of this chain and single crochet. We come to this next three double crochets and we work a double crochet on top of each of those three double crochets. right now we chain three single crochet in this chain to space chain three again then double crochet on top of each of these double crochets now skip this chain space and single crochet come to the next three double crochets and work three double crochets there that's one double crochet on top of each of the previous double crochets 
now chain three and work, work a single crochet in this chain three that we did at the beginning of the previous row with that we have come to the end of row three to begin row four chain five and turn then work a single crochet in this chain three space right here chain five again then work a single crochet in this next chain three space chain five again this is like a repeat of row one by the way then single crochet in this next chain three space chain five again single crochet in this next chain three space and to finish up the row, we're just going to chain two and work a double crochet in the single crochet that we did at the beginning of the previous row, right? So we've just finished row four, which happens to be a repeat of row one. So from here on, we are going to be repeating the instructions from row two to row four because it's the same thing we're going to be doing from here. So let us do row five together so you see. Row 5 now is going to be a repeat of row 2. Alright, we're going to be starting row 5 now with um, chain 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This chain 4 serves as a double crochet chain 1. And in this chain 2 space right here, we work 3 double crochets. And chain 2, in this chain 5 space, we work a single crochet. And chain 2 again. In this next chain 5 space, we are going to work 3 double crochets, chain 2, 3 double crochets, all in that same space. Then chain 2, single crochet in the next chain 5 space, chain 2, and at the end here, we're going to work 3 double crochets, chain one and work a double crochet in the third chain of the chain four that we did at the beginning of the previous row again from here on the stitch is pretty much repetitive you can see that what we just did in row five is the same exact thing we did in row two so again you're just going to be repeating from rows two to row four to you get your desired length this is a very easy stitch very lovely as well Perfect for summer clothing. I personally love to use different stitches for different crochet projects. And that's one of the things that gave birth to me posting stitch tutorials on my YouTube channel because I found that, you know, I wasn't really finding a lot of stitch options when I initially started my crochet business. So I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. You can use this for any kind of summer crochet clothing and you can also use it as an edging for your crochet projects. If you'd love to learn how to modify this stitch, maybe how to increase with it, how to decrease with it, how to make different styles of clothing with this stitch, then definitely check out my crochet sizing and measurement course where I teach how to crochet clothes that fit, whether you have a pattern to follow or not. Just click the link in the description box below to read all about this course. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more crochet content like this one. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.